So I got a couple things to work on the Max Stone 8 upgrades. Um, got a large bag of parts and tools. I'm going to go over a few of those. Um, but before I open this bag, I also got a tool that I've been needing for quite some time. Um, I actually already opened this. This is a simple Dremel. Um, like I said, this is probably a required tool for sanding, cutting holes. Uh, this is the bottom Dremel. This costs about 20 bucks, but this will do exactly what I needed to do. It's a two speed job. Um, I think it's going to work just fine. I mainly got this for sanding bodies and cutting small holes, um, things like that. I didn't think I needed the top of the line Dremel. I won't be doing any woodwork or anything. This is strictly for RC. So I got what I needed and not much more. Um, like I said, it's a little 20 buck job and it should help me. I especially brought this for this project because I need to fabricate a ESC plate. So I'll be doing that with that Dremel and a piece of Lexan. So now into the bag. Um, full bag of parts and I'll just I'll take the bag off oh, set the bag over here um, I'll just go from the top no particular order got this sheet of Lexan some pretty thick Lexan here um, I'm going to be using this to make a plate to hold the electronics and I'll also be making that servo plate that I just spoke about with that um, nothing nothing to that it's just a simple piece of Lexan um, I got a couple ESC's for the crawler um, two Sidewinder 3's I'm gonna try to run both of those um, it's a little bit overkill but I wanna see if I can do it and uh, see how well it performs I'm going to be running dual setup on most of the electronics here, and dual steering servos, dual ESCs, and dual motors. So to upgrade the servos, I went with high tech 5646 waterproofs, two of those. Uh, they're decent torque, not the best torque rating, but they're high tech's best waterproof servo at this point. So that's what will be going in. Uh, need uh, wire connectors to run the ESCs, the twin ESCs. And also I need another wire connector to run the, the servos. I hope I have that in this bag supposed to and there it is so Y connectors for the servos and the ESC's um, just so I can get those running and I'll be running those both off of one channel each uh, channel 2 on the ESC channel 1 on the steering and I'll be running those to a Spectrum 200 WP SR 200 WP simple waterproof receiver from Spectrum uh, nothing special channel 1, channel 2 and the bind port the bind port um, will accommodate the BEC the Castle BEC that I'm going to install uh, to help out the steering I went with Castle on the ESC's and the BEC solely because of familiar familiarity and programmability um, I have castle ESC's in much of my RC collection and I'm familiar with the programming also I'm familiar with the programming on the CCBEC so why not stick with it um, to wire all this I got wet noodle this is 
this is the product that my hobby shop they sell a few brands of wire um, MPI I believe a couple others I like the wet noodle it's um, really soft and flexy um, it performs well I haven't had any problems with it um, I'm kind of a brand association guy so once I get a brand that really works for me I generally stick with it so that's what's going on with the Dean's wet noodle it's funny I use um, Dean's Dean's wire but I always use Traxxas connectors um, I use Traxxas connectors I've said before um, because I I started with Traxxas connectors um, all my batteries are Traxxas connectors all my cars are Traxxas connectors this uh, Maxstone 8 is currently the only truck I have with Dean's connectors on it um, and that's just because it came that way so I'll be switching those out for Traxxas connectors my hobby shop ran out of uh, male Traxxas leads so I bought some of these um, these adapters and I'll be um, these are for the 1 16th vehicles and I'll pull those out desolder and use them my way um, by buying two of these I got uh, four male connectors and two female connectors and I also picked up an extra pair of female connectors just in case um, I'll be needing male male on the two ESCs I'll need to fabricate a little connector to plug both ESCs into along with the BEC so um, all that will be taken care of with these connectors and the simple wire connections will go together with Castle CC bullets um, once again that's what I started with I like these uh, they're roughly the same size as the wire um, they just they just work and I don't find the need to change so once again I'm going with the brand familiarity CC bullets uh, a lot of people use Dean's connectors I don't know if there's a difference um, there should be little to no resistance with those um, well as little resistance as possible so castle cc bullets those are four millimeter bullet connectors um, for the servos aluminum servo horns two of course because i have two servos these are racers edge aluminum servo horns not the hd ones nothing special um, i personally don't see the, see the need for hd servo horns um, these fit on tight and barely want to come off so I screw those on and that's that so those are the servo horns for the servos um, the wheels at first I thought they were terrible um, then after thinking about it I thought maybe if I put a little weight behind them that they would grab a little more and stay down a little more so I picked up eight lead weight bars. These come in at 170 grams a piece. Each one of these will be on each tire. Uh, so that should make a significant difference in my weight. And um, hopefully it'll help the tires stick and grab a little bit. Uh, I, I don't expect for these weights to fix the tires. Um, just just to help out holding them down and getting the grooves to attack the surface a little bit better so that's it for the bag and all of this will be going into the build process of this monstrous Maxstone 8 this will be the last time it looks like this um, it's all stock now um, stock electronics in there battery tray my new Lexan sheet I'm going to fabricate a battery tray to go across the top uh, electronics tray to go across the top and I'll be zip tying that down 
I'll also be doing some shifting of the links, um, lightening of the oil, um, just a little work as I go through, and I'll document that all um, in the build, the build videos. So that's the beginning of the Maxstone 8 upgrades.